I think actually I belong to the whole generation from this country that went overseas to become professionally competent so as to be useful at home. So although we are British subjects, we were part of the world to be relevant in our own country. So working on residences was actually a very important total experience. We were able to practice our own ideas about architectonic building, where structure, form, function were very clear in the use of materials. Looking back, I guess we had enough confidence. It was the first major, truly open competition. and It was very obvious that everybody had to go for it. We actually deviated from being just a conference hall to really becoming a concert hall. The public spaces, exhibition spaces, the whole parade of visiting a building were part of the inspiration. So it was very unusual that the mosque was part of an open competition. Uh, and the fact that it was actually awarded openly to, in this case, architects who were not Muslims. That was becoming for the early days of the nation. It began like that, it was a very open society. The MSA building on Robinson Road, it was really our first major urban project after the conference hall. And it was there that we began to innovate about the urban form, the idea of the podium, roof garden, and solar shading consideration for tropicality in the design. When we designed bank buildings like the UOB, DBS, it was very definitely in an urban context where you had to take part in the urbanism and the controls. Uh, the context was very well studied and hopefully provides a lesson of that era. The first thing about the shape was actually two blocks which formed the shape with a hole in between. The essential feature mentioned about the clock tower to become almost like, I suppose, the periscope of a ship or a submarine, and it had to be high enough to be seen from everywhere. The relationship with Bucky, of course, taught me a lot of things. So although I'm familiar with a lot of his thinking, uh, the philosophy was actually the, the most important impact, you know. I mean, the idea of the world for you and me, an integrative world, sharing the world. Geodesics, of course, was another area, the synergetics that we, we, we shared, and I went about recreating some of them in the dome form. But the most significant one was the bamboo Tensegrity Dome in Bali, which we built for his birthday in, was it, 77? But I think the exposure, the empathy, the actual livingry of people, his experience with us was very meaningful to him. The key thing about being a Malayan or a Malaysian architect is not so much what you did, but your integrity, the quality of your work, not the style, not the stylism. Your architecture has to have an integrity and hopefully an originality. But my inspirations were universal because I had an international background and I saw its relevance, but without being derivative, without being stylistic, following fashions and so on.